In 1 Kings chapter 20, we see some valuable lessons on obedience, arrogance, selfish pride, and consequence. First, we see God rewarding King Ahab for his obedience. We see an arrogant King Ben-Hadad suffer the consequence of his selfish pride and we end with King Ahab becoming a bit arrogant and prideful himself as he crosses that line and disobeys God, ultimately leading to God's prophet, telling him in verse 42, because you have spared the man I said must be destroyed, now you must die in his place and your people will die instead of his people. There is so much to learn from the actions and words of these kings in this chapter but I wanna to focus today on something that we see right in the middle of this chapter. King Ahab had just won his first battle after following the instructions of God given through his prophet. And it says in verse 22, afterward, the prophet said to King Ahab, get ready for another attack. Begin making plans now for the king of Aram will come back next spring. King Ahab obeyed the Lord's commands and God gave him victory. He's warned that there will be another attack next spring, but to get ready now. They could have easily just sat back, rested, and celebrated the win. But what does God tell them to do? Get ready, begin making plans now. Maybe you're at a time in your life where you're feeling like you're under attack. You feel like you're outnumbered. The odds are stacked against you, and you're in that trust and obey stage of that battle. Be encouraged. Our God is the same God in the valleys as he is on the mountaintops, as we see in this chapter. But maybe you've just come through one of those tough times. You're feeling like you're finally able to take a breath, but you know that this feeling won't last forever. You've been warned that more attacks from the enemy are coming. Jesus tells us in John chapter 16, verse 33, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. But what are you doing in the waiting? We can easily be tempted to relax, get comfortable, procrastinate in our walk with the Lord. Be tempted to think that we've got things under control or that we don't really need God right now. But I want to encourage you today. Let's learn from this passage in 1 Kings 20. Get ready, stay ready. We must remain humbly obedient and reliant on the Lord spending time each day in prayer and in his word, because there will never be a time that we don't need his guidance and his protection.